Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the tech stocks. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, um, Monday, <laughs> November 16, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where we have a signal service. We have um, 70 traders already using that service and um, you'll get full access to the full technical analysis and also all of our trades. So at this point, we will start looking at um, yeah, the S&P 500. And as you can see, we, have, we rallied on Friday which is not unusual, <laughs> usually the, the S&P or the indi indices rally on Friday. It is probably the most difficult day of the week to basically trend, to trade. But at this point, we are again testing these very highs of 3,600 or there, thereabout. If we break this level here, which we did on Monday when we had the news of, of, the, of the vaccine, we can see that we basically pierced this and then broke down quite significantly. We have been trading, uh, trending upwards again, but at this point, I think that we are going to turn around. If we don't manage to break this uh, this price level on the, on uh, or this uh, this level on Monday session, we are going to go back towards the 50 moving average around 3,400, and if that breaks, we'll go back towards the 3,200 level. So we'll been, we have been trading sideways for a very long time now. We have not had a significant out, uh, a breakout for this. And if you look at the historical trend line, we're also at the edge of that. So a break above this level is not just a break. Um, it, is, it is a significant break. It will basically break a trend line that has been, been um, active now for, for years. And therefore... I don't think that we are going to do that. Uh, we need some seriously good news. And we can see that this is probably the best news that you could get, that there basically was a vaccine. So we uh, broke this level, fell below this uh, uh, level again. And that's not a very encouraging sign. So if you look at the technical indicators, they are all, well, they are very, to be very honest, they are almost our bot. Uh, or the S&P 500 is almost all about. And uh, the other indicators are basically showing signs of weakness. They are basically turning around. The Bollinger Band is basically at the top, and therefore a move towards at least the uh, 20, exp uh, 20 exponential moving average should be expected. So a break above this will uh, make this market go significantly higher. If we get a very weak candlestick on Monday, that is a sign that we are going Towards the 50 moving average, a break there, it will open the door to the very lows. And there is the buying opportunity. So if you look at the Dow Jones, we can see it is the same thing here. We are basically above the, the previous highs here. So at this point, I do it's going to be very similar to the S&P 100. I think that we are going to turn around, even though that this is a very bullish shine. Uh, for the Friday session, I think that we are going to turn around towards the 50 moving average and probably lower than that. There is no real expectation why this market should go this much higher. It, of course, can, can, but I just don't really have that faith in this market at this point to go significantly higher because nothing really has changed. We got the vaccine news here. It jumped um, and basically made a gap here and then rallied significantly, and then broke down. And to be fairly honest, nothing has changed. Um, things have actually gotten worse since the, the annunciation of the, of the vaccine. So expect this market to go lower. I don't think this market is going to go higher. If you look at the technical indicators, we are almost oversold, not overbought. The MACD is still very bullish. The CCI is flat, the uh, stochastic is crossed the signal line, and we're basically on the top of the Bollinger Band. So there are signals that we are going to go lower in this market. So if you look at the, the NASDAQ, NASDAQ used to be the more bullish uh, indice of these three indices, but it is basically very, very at this point. Um, we are... Technically trading sideways, just above the 20 exponential moving average. 
we have not tried to test these uh, these very highs well for months now all the way back to september uh, we uh, at the beginning of september we had this um the very highs here and we have not uh, tried to go there even though we had an annunciation of the vaccine we did not get it we basically broke down significantly so at this point we'll probably see more of the same Technical indicators are very weak. They're all basically flat at this point. So we're trading sideways. If we break down, then we find resistance if we support at the 50 moving average. And if we break up, we'll find basically support resistance here at these tops. So we are trading at the highs at 12,500 and the very lows at 10,700. So we're basically in the middle of nowhere. So we just have to see where technically this market goes. So if you look at these tech stocks, um, Google rallied on on Friday. It basically tested these uh, these uh, these lower levels here and then rallied again. So at this point, we'll probably go to the these very highs here of eighteen hundred and twenty one. A break below this area here will open the door to <coughs> sorry to the twenty exponential moving average and then towards the fifty moving average. Technical indicators for for Google are are looking they are they're bullish at this point but we are significantly overbought so we expect a pullback in this market in the stock and if you look at facebook facebook has been uh, it basically touched the 100 moving average or near the 100 moving average on tuesday and then rallied above the 50 moving average and now we're settling just above the 20 exponential moving average so at this point we'll probably go higher the indicators are showing signs of life here. The stochastic, the same goes for the CCI, and the RSI is is basically in the middle of things. And we are basically just finding support at the 20 exponential um, moving average. So this market will most likely go towards the $303 range again. So Apple has just been doing nothing. It has been trading sideways for most of the week. And at this point, well, it has to be seen. If we have a pullback towards the 50 moving average, then we'll bounce. If we rally towards it, uh, 125, then we'll most likely decline again. And and at this point, it's not often I say this, just stay away from Apple because there's no really clear sign that we're where we're going at this point. So we need a real clear signal where we're going. Looking at um, the Microsoft, we pull back towards the 20 exponential moving average and then rallied and now we're settled just above the 20 exponential moving average. The technical indicators are turning around for Microsoft stocks, so we could see some kind of bullishness on, on Monday session or Tuesday session, but the highs here are 225 and above that is 233. Break below the, 20, the 50 moving average, opens the door to the 150 moving average. So we look at Netflix. Netflix, again, tested the, the lows here of 100, the 150 moving average. We have the very lows of 466. So we were basically at the bottom of this range. I don't think that we are going to break the 50 moving average because we basically bounced off it. And at this point, I think that we are going to go higher. This was a stock that we is traded um uh, last week and then basically sold it when before it basically got, uh, started declining again and at this point I'll probably enter this market again uh, because I think that we are just going to go higher as the vaccine is uh, as the virus is gone it's getting worse and we're talking about more um, more uh, people working at home and shutdowns and so on that will benefit significantly uh, Facebook, uh, not Facebook, Netflix stock, as it did um, in April, in May, and so on. So if you look at Amazon, we are, well, expecting Amazon, we need to basically break the 50 moving average in order to go higher. If you don't do that, we'll head back towards the, the, um, the very low zero of 2,952. But a break above the 50 moving average opens the door to these previous highs here of 3,358 and then to these very highs. 
Technically, Indy Gage Ford is uh, are basically turning around. Both the Mac MACD is flat at this point. The RSI is flat. The CTI is flat, but the stochastic is showing sign of life. And we're also at the bottom, basically almost at the bottom at the Bollinger Band. So expect this market to go higher. A break above the 50 moving average is a signal that we are going to go significantly higher. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And if you want to see all of our, uh, our trades, you're welcome to follow our, us over at Patreon where we have our signal service. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.